Hi, Diego. Good boy. Good boy, Doggo. Doggo, you ready for a ski tour? Oh boy. There you go. You want to be a free dog? Stay, sit, stay. Okay. This is Lego. He's our Siberian Husky Australian Cattle Dog Cross, and he loves snow. Later, break. Hey guys, today we're gonna go ski up Breccia Peak, but today we're not on Nordic touring skis, we are on Alpine touring skis, because we're gonna be doing a little bit steeper terrain. Still pretty mild, but over our shoulders, Breccia Peak, and here's where we're headed. We're gonna be going up the valley between its right shoulder there, and then we'll take that right shoulder, that ridge, up to the top. And there's some nice bowls on the backside we can ski, which are in the wilderness area. Now we're gonna cross just over this creek and follow this little ridge up to a bench where we can safely traverse to the left of this little knoll here. There you go, do you have a stick? It's not quite the bluebird day we had yesterday, but not bad. Some high clouds, there's snow coming in tomorrow. You guys gotta see the crystals inside of this hole here. Today is Valentine's Day 2022 and the area we're skiing to Breccia Peak is in Bridger Teton National Forest and we'll actually cross the boundary here in a few hours into the wilderness for Bridger Teton. The snow is highly variable. Normally this area gets a lot of snow all winter long and most of the spring but they had a bunch of snow in December and early January and they're pretty much stopped January 7th. Since January 7th, they've had less than a foot of snow. And so all the snowpack is faceted. It's turned into these little sugary grains of snow. And then in the sun, they've refrozen to make a crust. But in the shade, they're really soft. Slicker than powder. Hey, Ryan. Happy Valentine's Day, Ryan. Happy Valentine's Day. There you go. Happy Valentine's Day, little dog. Move, move. Move. There you go, move. We're at 9,940 feet, roughly. And there's a bench there at 9940 that we're gonna take off of this shoulder we've been climbing, this ridge. I see ski tracks on this mountain. Looks like somebody's already got a couple of nice turns in from the top. about halfway up this meadow, this saddle between these two peaks, 
Brachia Peak on the left is the boundary for the Bridger Teton wilderness area. So once we cross the meadow, we'll take this ridge all the way up to the summit. Dago, what are you doing? Hi, silly boy. We're at the end of the saddle, that big meadow right before the ridge, so I think it is time to eat some lunch. I'm starving. Just need to get out of the wind first. In order to have a nice dry seat for lunch, we just flip our skis over and sit on our skins. Works pretty well. For lunch, Lion made us these really good wraps. They have turkey, provolone cheese, lettuce, and some, I think it's Caesar dressing. They're really good though. I know Lego wants one. You want some? You save police for that? Lego really wants the last bit of my jalapeno popper. We're gonna make him work for it. Lego, sit. Bang! Okay. Good boy. <laughs> we just had our lunch. Get our energy back. Up to the ridge we go. Yeah, it is icy. Listen to that. About the time we almost reached the ridge, the snow got really icy. It's just solid wind slab. So I think I'm gonna head up the top and Lion's gonna wait for me down about tree line and uh, throw a down coat on and just maybe take a nap in the sun. But I'm gonna head up and I'll take you guys to the top. Lego may have deserted me to go hang out with mommy. AKA Lion. Boy, when you get to the ridge, the views on your right. Copy that. You said Lego is with you? Correct. Lego is with me now. All right, I'm headed up the ridge. Lego can go wherever he wants to. He'll probably go back and forth for a while. I agree. He's coming to you. Over. Copy that. I'm headed up the ridge. Over and out. Have fun. Over. What a view that is. And that's all the closer to that corner that we're going to get. Wow. Lego, can you see mommy from up there? Good boy. So it's really easy to follow the skin track since because it's been windy, the skin track doesn't blow away because the snow has been compressed. We are just about there. We're just gonna follow this ridge to the summit. Up there in the upper right. There's the top. Let's go, Doug. final last few feet of the ascent, there is one heck of an amazing view of the Tetons. It's Grand Teton 
Mount Moran. Oh wow. What do you think of that, Lego? Pretty good, huh, dog? Good job, little pup. Yeah, that'll work. Way off in the distance, you can actually see the tallest peaks of the Wind River Range, including Gannett Peak. Right on the top, 10,955 feet. Time to head down. All right, there it is. Summit of Breccia Peak. Duggo, let's go. Yeah. Yeah Michael's ready to go. Solid wind slab. Good time. Move, move. That's fun. Oh, beautiful day. It's more survival skiing than fun skiing, but uh, hey, any skiing is fun skiing. Move.
almost made it the whole way. Dugga, dugga, dugga. Yeah! There she goes! Yeah! Woohoo! Good turns! Good turns, babe! Alright, down we go! See you guys later! <laughs>